Okay, pause. Uh, every time I say brush gold, I meant to say blush gold. I don't know why I said it wrong every single time. I know it's blush gold. So whenever you hear it, just think blush gold. So you guys know next month we're gonna see a brand new iPhone. We got an iPhone 7s and the iPhone 8, the one everyone's been waiting for. So here's the 7s and here's the 8. You guys can probably tell right now we're gonna see a new color and some other stuff. Before I go any further, I gotta give a shout out to the big homie, Sonny Dixon, for hooking me up with all these 7S and 8 models. If you guys don't know what a model is, basically, they're what the iPhone is gonna look like, just without the internals. They're also pretty good looking people. That's kind of what a model is. So these are just to give you a good interpretation of what we're gonna see next month. I'm holding the 7S Plus one right here, and this thing feels so crazy. So the 7S compared to the 8, we're only gonna see one size in the 8. The 7S has the 7S Plus, what I'm holding, and then where is it? There's so many phones here, no joke. And then the 8, you're gonna see a bunch of different colors, but the bonus color that you guys can probably see right now is this blush, gold. It looks weird, coppery. I thought it was gonna be a copper gold. It's a blush gold. So this is supposed to replace the new rose gold. There's only gonna be three colors on the iPhone 8. Got this mirror-like one, the jet black one, and then this blush gold. Whereas the 7S and 7S Plus, they're the ones that look really similar to the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. I even got one right here. So this is my 7 Plus compared to the 7S Plus, and then we got an iPhone 7 compared to the 7 right here, 7S. So the first difference that you can tell, and this is gonna be a big thing on the 8s and the 7s's, is this glass back. You can see it on the 7s right here, but it's no longer gonna be metal. Why is this? Because we're gonna see wireless charging. You've been waiting for it, I've been waiting for it all my life. I'm 20, and this has been a wish of mine for probably 10, no, just kidding, the, well, no, the iPhone has actually been out for 10 years. You are so dumb. I've been waiting for it for a while, and you guys probably too. So basically, what this allows you to do is just put your phone down, and it will just wirelessly charge. No cables needed. And I actually did a challenge with this. I lived with an iPhone 7 Plus for about eight days using nothing but wireless charging. So it can be done. I did it a little bit early, and that's gonna be amazing. There's so many phones and so many different names this year. So I'm just gonna pick one phone and let you guys know. So basically, the 7S and 7S Plus are gonna be insane. They're the second generation of the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. You know how Apple just adds an S for the next year. Instead, we're getting that and the iPhone 8. So on the 7S, you're gonna get a glass back. This is hella trippy compared to what we're all used to, at least recently, with the iPhones being metal. Why is there gonna be a glass back? Because we're getting the wireless charging, and that looks awesome. So on the side, you're gonna get this shiny just edge. It just looks, it's this shiny just edge that just wraps around, and I don't know. I don't know. The sides, I like it. I hope it's actually this shiny. Maybe on just this new color mirror-like silver one, it looks good. At the bottom, we're still gonna get lightning, but the main difference is on both phones, it's gonna be lightning to USB-C, or wait, USB-C to lightning. They're trying to get rid of the old USB port. You're gonna get the same camera on the 7 Plus that you see on the 7S Plus, and with the iPhone 7S, dude, there's so many names. I hope you guys are following along. Let me know in the comments. Just comment, yeah, just Y-A-S, wait, what? Just comment Y-A-H if you guys are following along here. On the 7S, it's still gonna be glass. You're gonna get your jet black one. It looks really similar to the iPhone 4. You guys know what I'm talking about, but you get the same polished edge, no longer metal. And then when you hop on over to the front, it's kind of hard to see on the 7S, but you're gonna be getting those thick bezels. Not as much screen as the iPhone 8. Woo! That was a lot to tell you guys. So the iPhone 7S is basically just the next generation of the iPhone 7 Plus. So if you guys want something new, there's gonna be some new tech in the 7S, but the one you're really waiting for is the iPhone 8. This is it. This is gonna have the new A11 processor, the latest and the greatest from Apple, and it's gonna come in three colors. So we got jet black, at least that's what I know it's gonna be called, and all of these have glass, by the way. We got jet black, this new blush gold that I don't really know how I feel. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about this. It's kind of a pink. It's supposed to replace that rose gold. We'll talk about it in a second. And then this mirror-like finish. I actually like this one. Usually I go for the black iPhones. I just, I like how they look a little better. I don't really know. This one doesn't look too bad on the back. 
and all these are gonna have glass. I've said that, you know wireless charging is going down. But the cool thing is, besides the cameras just, you know, being vertical instead of horizontal, on the 7S Plus, you guys know, dude, there's legit so many phones here. Whoa! Besides all that, what's really gonna be cool is on the front. So you're gonna see a 5.8 inch full screen. How are they doing this? It's crazy. So I got an iPhone 7 here. When I hold it up to the iPhone 8, it's a little bit bigger, you know, nothing too crazy. But what's cool is on the iPhone 7, also gonna be the 7S, it's a 4.7 inch screen. So if you're like me and you want a bigger screen, but don't wanna have to get a bigger phone, on the iPhone 8, there's only gonna be one size. And this right here is the full screen experience. Picture this, it doesn't work, it's just a model having a full screen. How sick would that be? There's not even a home button, which I kinda knew wasn't gonna happen. They got rid of the headphone jack on the iPhone 7. There's no button on the iPhone 8. So how you unlock this is with facial recognition. That's right, you just look at your phone and it'll know if it's you. Apparently it's more secure than a fingerprint. I don't really know, well, okay, I kinda know how that would go down, but that would be insane. Another thing that you were supposed to see only on the iPhone 8, because on the iPhone 7S here, doesn't have it, is silence notifications. So when you're using your phone, you know, just like normal on the iPhone 8, and you get a notification, since it knows you're looking at it, it won't alert you. How awesome is that? Notifications get to be notifications, because when you're on your phone, you see the alerts, you know you can do your thing with it. When you're not near your phone, that's the point of a notification. That's gonna be amazing, and this is all gonna go down in iOS 11. So on the iPhone 8, you're getting iOS 11, and on the 7S, iOS 11's going down. I'm interested to see what other things we get, like a front-facing camera upgrade, it seems like it's gonna happen. This all-screen iPhone with this blush gold. I like it, I like it, it's shiny, it, it feels good. Same buttons on the side, you know, your, your standard stuff. And then you got a vertical camera on the back. This is a huge change over the 7S. It's gonna be the same kind of camera as before, but on the 8, it's gonna be vertical. I'm guessing vertical video is gonna be a thing, like Snapchat video, just more on here. How sick would it be? This is just an idea. If all you have to do was hold your phone like this, and it could somehow shift it around and give you vertical or horizontal video just with this camera. That's something I'm thinking, but the iPhone 8, glass at last. I'm just thinking right now, since the 7S is gonna be having glass on the back and on the front, same with the iPhone 8, it's gonna be drop city. I'm scared, I'm gonna need a case, and I don't know if you guys remember, but I got some iPhone 8 cases earlier this year. I wanna just try them out and see how they fit. Oh, what? that was the first time. I, I had not planned even better. Wow, that, I didn't plan that at all. This was the first time I tried the cases on with the new models here. Yo, these models are sexy. This glass is gonna be amazing. It's gonna look so good. You're gonna need a case for sure. And with that wireless charging, just a nice little case, bam, you're chilling. We got so many iPhones here. Now the price of the iPhone 8, you guys have probably been hearing about this. It's gonna go for around $1,000. <laughs> I don't know if we're actually gonna see that. That just sounds crazy expensive. Hopefully the hype's worth it. If not, that's why the 7S exists. You can still get the glass wireless charging. It just, it'll be at a lesser price. So when the new iPhones drop, let me know in the comments now if you guys are gonna pick up the iPhone 8, the iPhone 7S, or if you're just gonna pick up an Android, you're like done with it all. There's only gonna be one size, which is gonna be different. I'm down for a new experience. If you're not down for a new experience and you're like, yo, I don't wanna spend $1,000, that's why the 7S is here. You're gonna get a lot of the same features, just at less. Shout outs, I wanna give a huge shout out to Just Magic Fibs and Fusion Slip for having my notifications on. If you guys want a notification shout out, ring that bell and let me know in the comments. Subscribe for more iPhone 8 videos and tweet me at TextMart if you guys find anything else crazy on the iPhone 8. I'm gonna stay outside. Peace. I'm 100% positive we found Tom Hanks just driving out here. Tommy, is that you? If he looks at me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be so, I don't, don't look at me.